Hey guys, it's Jordan and today's video is going to be a Q&A and I don't do these very often which I think is a good thing because I feel like some YouTubers like rely on Q&As for like all their videos and I don't want it to be like that but I decided to ask you guys some questions on Instagram and you guys left a lot of them so thank you for that and if you're wondering my Instagram is pinksforway13 it's the exact same username as my YouTube. So if you want to follow me on there, feel free to. And I was watching my last Q&A and it turned out I was wearing this shirt and a necklace very similar to this. So I thought that was kind of funny. And I'll leave all the Q&As I've done down below if you guys want to watch this. And let's just get into the questions. Taylor Zeich, Taylor Z-I-C-H asks, favorite store. And at the moment, it's probably Forever 21 considering it's the most affordable. But if I could shop like anywhere and like use all my money there if I had enough for that I would probably choose Nordstrom's because they have everything they have shoes purses clothes everything it's amazing but it's really expensive so yeah underscore Mary White Ford says most embarrassing moment and I'm gonna have to think about this one because I'm a pretty outgoing person and I don't really get embarrassed but um I would just have to say every single video, not like YouTube video, but every single like, I don't know, people video me all the time when I'm doing really weird stuff and I'm just kind of like used to it by now, but all those combined together would, that's a tragedy just waiting to happen, like all those videos, honestly. Alicia is Bay for Life asks a ton of questions and I'm going to answer them all for you. She says, who is my first boyfriend? And it was in fifth grade. It was a boy named Samuel. Samuel, I don't know, you probably aren't watching this, but shout out to you, I don't know. We're actually really good friends now. Um, it was in fifth grade, so it's obviously not a big deal or whatever. But yeah, good times. Best moment of your life? Probably a couple days ago when I hit a thousand subscribers oh my gosh you guys I was freaking out I was so happy you guys have no idea even though it's not about the numbers it's just amazing because I've been wanting to reach that goal for such a long time and now that I finally did thanks to you guys so thank you so much favorite video you have ever done probably I don't know why but my Thanksgiving outfit of the week I'll link it below is that was the most proud I've ever been of a video. I do not know why, just like the editing, everything. I just love that video so much. Have I ever gotten a fight at school? <laughs> do I look like a fighter? Oh my gosh, no. I mean, I don't really know if you're talking about like a boom, 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 pa fight or like a Oh, you're so ugly. Ugh. Fight, but not really, no, I have not, not yet. Where do you want to live in the future? Somewhere warm, beachy, hopefully. Mostly California, that's the dream, but I feel like I'm just gonna end up living in Texas. It's kind of bound to happen, so yeah. What do you want to be when you grow up? And I really want to do something in the film industry, and that's not just because of YouTube. I also do a program at school. I really, really enjoy it um, for video filming, editing, stuff like that. And I just think that's what I want to do with my life. Have you ever broken anything? If so, how and when? And I've never broken a bone. Not one of them. Fingers crossed, I never do. Paige Forever asks the next two questions. She says, favorite game? And I don't really play games. I don't know. Um, I don't know if you're talking about like computer game or what. I really liked Hullabaloo. 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 I don't know how you say it. I kind of forgot. It was like a machine, um, and you like press a button, and it would like say go to this, and it was like a vegetable, and then there was like vegetables on the floor. Like this video if you know what I'm talking about. It was a fun game. <laughs> and she also has favorite type of movies. Definitely comedy because even in High School Musical, when the dramatic stuff happens, I get really sad and depressed. And hold up, Teen Beach Movie Two. Who else had their lives ruined? What? That ending though, oh my gosh. Danielle McKay XO asked the next two questions and she says upcoming videos. Um, I would definitely say 
more fashion videos, more clothing videos, but I also enjoy doing like the funny comedy videos, if you can't already tell from my last couple of videos. So let me know if you guys like those videos, if you want me to do more beauty, stuff like that. Just leave requests below and I will definitely make sure to try to do them. And I'm going to try to do my curly hair routine, but it's not much. It really isn't. So I don't really know if I should do that. Just let me know. She says summer essentials. And honestly, for summer essentials, I say Netflix. Food. Wi-Fi. And maybe a couple cute clothes. Honestly, I don't even leave the house that much, so I don't really know. And Nap.Vega asked, if you wouldn't have been named Jordan, what will be another name your parents would name you? Um, if I was a boy, this is all I know, um, I was going to be named Grant, but I don't think there was any other girl names. I just know I was going to be named Grant if I was a guy. Angelina Magia asks, what age did you start wearing makeup? Um, probably, for real, this year. Freshman year, well, I'm, I just finished freshman year, um, but I only wore it sometimes, and I only still wear it when I'm getting dressed up or for like a video or something. I honestly don't wear makeup that often at all. So that's probably why I don't do really any makeup tutorials because I don't really know what I'm doing. So there's that. Sarah K. Minoru, sorry if I'm butchering you guys' name. She says, how are you so gorgeous? And girl, you just made my day. Thank you. Um, I don't really know how to ask that question. Um, I think everyone's still self-conscious about themselves. No matter what you look like, we could think Selena Gomez is the most perfect person ever, but you know, she still has some insecurities. So just always remember that, okay? Everyone has insecurities, even the most famous people ever. So, there you go. Mary EY11 asks, favorite music at the moment? Um, probably just any upbeat music. The song I Really Really Like You by Carly Rae Jepsen is just such an upbeat song and I really like it because of that. She said, she also asked, do you have a collection of some sort? And no, I really don't, unless you're considering like clothes or stuff like that. I tried to collect snow globes at one point, didn't work out at all. So, favorite season, I would have to say either summer or fall because spring in Texas Always rainy, always stormy. Winter in Texas, cold. It is cold, I don't care what y'all say. It is cold in Texas during the winter. Fall is really good temperature. It's kind of cool, kind of warm, but it's kind of annoying because you wake up in the morning and it's like so cold and then by the end of the day, you're dying of heat. So that's one side effect. Side effect makes it one downside of fall. But summer's just hot all around, so you hear this you're stuck with the warm. She says, if you were a cartoon character, who would you be and why? And I think Jerry from Tom and Jerry. I love cartoons, because it was like my favorite show ever. And he's just very mysterious and smart. Yeah, I love cartoons. Like, I love cartoons. Any talents? If yes, do an example. Okay, I'm not trying to brag or anything, but um, I can do this. Uh-huh. You're welcome. She asked, celebrity crush, Zac Efron, for sure, since 2006, when High School Musical 1 came out. <sighs> last movie you watched or last book you read and what did you think about it? The last movie I watched was Twilight. I watched that last night with my sister and her boyfriend and I honestly forgot how intense it was. The ballet scene is really scary and I was kind of freaking out about that. But I actually love the Twilight movies, even though I've never read the books, but whatever. What you're gonna do? Paige Forever asks the last two questions. She asks, do you believe in astrology and what's your zodiac sign? I actually do. I have this daily horoscope app and it is so relatable. I don't even know how it's like so spot on, but I am an Aries because I was born on March 31st. So that's my sign and I do believe in it. It's really interesting, so yeah. The last question is hidden talent, and I think I just did it for you, but another hidden talent would be um, this noise I can make. Let's get ready. You're welcome. So 
that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. So if you enjoyed, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you aren't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.